The Captain Captain Paw Blicks. 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 Movie City for the Flicks. Movie City for the Flicks. Movie City for the Flicks. The Captain Talks Flicks. Welcome to the Captain Talk Flix Podcast. I'm your host, the Captain Cortez, aka Mr. Love, and this is where we talk flicks. I walk in the podcast, podcast to me, the Captain, talks about movies, TV, sports, flicks, anything you see on the tube or screen. I like to get in here and give my unique perspective, because after 45 years of being on planet Earth, I've developed a unique perspective about these movies, TV, sports, and flicks. Let's get in here and on because just maybe... Just maybe you care. In accord to the stats, it was like, did you care? I want to give a big shout out to Korea. Now, real quick, so on the stats, it said Korea. It didn't say North Korea. It didn't say South Korea. I'm unclear which Korea actually listened to the podcast. I'm kind of thinking it's probably South, because in the North, they really can't get outside broadcast. But then part of me thinks, what if just like one person, somehow from North Korea, Use some kind of mechanisms or something. Was able to somehow get the Captain Talks Fix podcast in North Korea. Imagine that the captain was heard in North Korea. King John O must be furious. <laughs> but I didn't know. But I suspect it's probably South Korea. But there'll be a little bit of me thinking like, yeah, maybe I got through to some North Korean that spoke English. Maybe somehow I changed his life. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, whatever Korea listens to the podcast. Gracias, gratitude, total, bah. And just FYI, back then when school to be a radio DJ, and I never got a job. Maybe what it was is I think that I didn't have the drive. Didn't have the drive. The drive was lacking to become a radio DJ. Didn't have it. But that did allow me to become the greatest podcaster in the Matrix. Something to debate. Might be true, might not be true. But I said it on the internet. So it's got to be true, right? Because everything on the internet is facts. Or maybe not facts. Possibly fact. Leaning towards facts. Or maybe leaning not towards fact. It's unclear. I don't know. I'm not an expert. But anyways, but no matter what, just be cautious, be aware, be mindful. Anyways, I could ramble here all day, but I won't. Let's get right into the podcast. But first, a word from our sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, the Captain Talks Flex podcast has expanded its reach. It's expanded its global reach. We were already a worldwide phenomenon heard by multiple countries across this wonderful globe. But it's expanded even more. So ladies and gentlemen, out in cyberspace, do you have Facebook? Chances are, if you're hearing this podcast, you probably have Facebook, because I heard almost everybody has Facebook. But guess what? We have a Facebook page. The Captain Talks Face Podcast has a Facebook page. I never talk about it. I never use it. But we have one. And the reason I'm telling you that, ladies and gentlemen, because our podcast, my podcast, our podcast, ours, it's ours. It's together, it's ours, it's mine. The podcast is now available on the Facebook page. So if you're on the Facebook page, of the, the podcast is right there. There's a podcast link. Right there, you can stream right from Facebook. It's right there, you can see it. We're now there. We're now on Facebook. So anyways, we're there. And check it out. I'll put the link below. And you can like that page, right? Give a big thumbs up. Like it. If you still use Facebook, I know a lot of people don't. But if you do, give it a like. Play the podcast on Facebook. Enjoy my wonderful voice. Maybe fall asleep to it. I think the other day someone fell asleep to my podcast. I'm pretty sure they were listening to me and they fell asleep. Because there's a lot of plays from like one individual. I'm like, I bet you that dude fell asleep. I've done that. I fell asleep on SoundCloud listening to someone. And they say, I know I woke up like hours later. I listened to like a million of their, of, their, of their tracks. That happens. I think someone finally fell asleep on me. I was like, man, can you imagine someone just like listening to me while they're sleeping? Craziness. Anyways, check out the Facebook page. I'll put the link below. Now let's get on with the podcast. Ladies and gentlemen. Here I am. Again. Again. Showing up again. Once more. I'm dependable. You can count on me. If you need some consistency in your life. In a world that lacks consistency more and more as days pass. 
You can count on your boy, the captain, to show up to this microphone and talk my wonderful, wonderful words of wisdom. <laughs> They're not really words of wisdom. Just what I did was be talking mess. But you can count on that. Because I do know from observation and seeing the globe and the world, a lot of that stability seems to be missing for a lot of people. It's very hard in this day and age right now, in this pandemic. So I will be there for you. Unless I'm dying, unless I'm sick, unless there's some kind of emergency, I'm showing up, baby. I got your back. I will be here. Y'all, no matter what, I'll be honest, this week, I was drained. I was worn out. I know I say quite a bit. The pandemic is tough. It's taxing. It is. I'm not going to sit here in front and pretend like it's all easy for the captain. Captain's got it easy. It's so easy. The captain never feels stressed or overwhelmed, none of that. No, that's all lies. I feel it. And maybe you can't tell by hearing this podcast and me talking, but there's moments where I feel that. There's moments of doubts. Moments of overwhelm. Moments of stress. Moments of monkey mind, mental fog. Moments of tired. Moments of exhaustion. You know, I feel them from time to time. More frequent, actually, recently. And I felt them this week. It seems like I'm always talking about that. I felt them. But I just want to tell you guys that. Because I know, I know I come on here and I might give off a certain vibe, but no. Nah, the captain goes through stuff mentally a lot of times. And I got past it again. And I'm showing up again. So if the captain can do it, you can too. So it's here I begin. Podcast time. And what I want to talk about this week is my favorite entertainment IP. My favorite universe out there. My most favorite thing on planet Earth for many years. Talking about the wonderful, lovely franchise of Star Trek. Boldly go. Live long and prosper. Choose to live. So yeah, I watched Star Trek this week. I watched Star Trek, Disco, Choose to Live. Episode, I think it was three. I'm pretty sure it's three. But Choose to Live is the title. This saw that. In another finely crafted episode. That played exactly when I needed to see that. Sometimes when I watch shows on TV. The Arrowverse was very good at this. There were episodes that just played the right moment in time. When I was feeling a certain way or going through a certain vibe. And it synced. It's very, it synced. So, you know, it sometimes it makes me like I'm in the Matrix. Like, bro, this syncs so well, I must be in the Matrix. But forget all that Matrix talk. Sometimes... It just sinks. Sometimes the episodes will sink with my mind state a lot of times. Star Trek Discovery, the first two seasons, not so much. But these last two, the third and the fourth, seem to sink more with my vibe than what I was going. Which I said the Arrowverse was spectacular at that. So this week, Star Trek Disco, choose to live. So all the episode was great. Some of the themes and ideas in the episode linked right up, sink right up. I'll start right off. Spoilers, spoilers ahead. Tilly been just having some stress, right? So she's, cho- she's choosing a way to deal with that stress. And so how she's dealing with that stress or that, with the confusion or not, not being clear, is she chooses to step outside her comfort zone. She says, you know what? I'm stepping outside my comfort zone. I'm deciding that. Let's go. Let's step out this comfort zone. I'm going to do little tiny things to step out this comfort zone. Tilly said, yeah, I'm doing that. I'm feeling a type, certain type of way, and I'm going to step outside this comfort zone. Let's go. Now, the way it synced up with the captain, because this week, I chose to do the exact thing. This week, I chose to do the exact same thing. During my training sessions this week, I chose to step outside my comfort zone in training. Right In the training zone, I said, you know what? I've been doing it this particular way. The events of this week have led me to believe that maybe I need to alter that. And so after having the events of this week go down, I said, I'm going to change my training style a bit. And so one of the days I was tired, worn out, whatever, exhausted, I said, let's change this training method. Let's do it. Let's tweak it. And I changed it in a certain way to make it more complicated, more difficult. That's what I did. I said, let's step out of it. I've been training this certain way for so long. Let's go like this. Do this. I did it. And it's interesting. I think I saw I did that. Either before I saw Tilly do, do her thing, or after, I can't remember which which one came first. My, this, this week's been crazy. But Tilly stepping outside her comfort zone, the captain stepped out of his. So crazy how that linked up. 
And it was so cute the way it was done on disco. I just love Tilly. Tilly's so awesome. Anyways, to see Tilly step outside her comfort zone it was just cool because I could so relate to that. You may hear these podcasts say, man, Captain, you're so confident. You're so cool, Captain. You just sound like you exuberate, exude all types of confidence. Like you're good. You can do whatever you want anytime, all the time. You're a master at everything. <laughs> but maybe you don't think that. These podcasts do give off a certain type of energy. And some people might hear this and hear this podcast and think, man, Captain, you 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 step outside of comfort zones? Like, aren't you comfortable all the time? In full transparency. No, I'm not. <laughs> a lot of times, not. Certain circumstances, yes, I'm not. But um, these days, I'm looking more to engage with those and embrace those. Even when they bring on feelings and mental ideas and things that I don't like. I was like, oh man, I don't like them. You know, I woke up this week going through my home through what I was doing this week. And when I woke up in the morning, I said, uh, first thing I said, look, I look in the mirror and I'm like, bro, let's go. I did a little rock thing, a little matrix thing. Rock thing with the hand. You know what I'm talking about? First thing in the morning. Matrix rock hand, hand gesture. Let's go. Right? Just woke up 10 minutes. I was like, let's do this. Right? And that's the difference. I knew what was ahead of me. I knew what I was getting into. I knew what was coming. I'm like, okay, I know what's coming. I know what I'm getting into. Let's go. Let's do this. And I walk right into it. And that's uh, kind of stepping outside the comfort zone, which I did. And then be honest, I'd be full transparency. I do all that. Let's go. But sometimes inside it, I still don't like it. <laughs> but came out the other side. I'm feeling a little bit better. As you can hear these podcasts feel good. Energized. Feeling all right. So I went through that. Anyways, Telly is doing the same thing on Disco. We're aligned. Me and Telly are aligned, baby. So I like to see Telly get inside their comfort zone. Cool to see that. So you're growing. Just expanding as a human being. That was lovely. And one other aspect of the show that I could so relate with that made me tear up again. Second week in a row, I'm tearing up. I watched the episode twice. I had to see it twice. I saw it twice. I saw it Thursday and I saw it again Saturday. I had to watch it twice. And um, when I was watching it, the scenes with Book, 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 the scenes with Book are making me tear up. I see Book and just the things that happen with his his arc, his story, just what he's going through, I can see it, right? And in the episode, um, there's a moment where they're uh, they're on Navarre, which if you don't know, Navarre is like now the new Vulcan. Yeah, I think it's the new Vulcan. Anyways, they're on Navarre. And um, they're trying to get some more information about this uh, anomaly that's happening that's causing chaos in the universe. And to get them to get closer, to get answers to that anomaly, to find out what it is, they need Book to look deep into his mind and look at some I, some memories or some some mental imagery that's gonna be a little stressful, right? Gonna be a little overwhelming. And um, he Book just said, "Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Let's, let's, let's get this. Let's let's look at him." And that, I could so feel, right? Because I, I know that feeling as well. I could so relate to this trek so much. Because a, a lot of times when that mental fog or you get images in your mind that you just don't want. It's like, why am I thinking that? A lot of times the method for me to deal with them now is just sit down, get in lotus pose, put up the mudra, breathe, and just look at them, right? Meditation, examine them, look at them. Look at them, deconstruct them, just look. I'm doing it right now. Just looking at them. And then Book did that. Book took the, the memories from uh, what happened. And he just examined it. He looked at them. And when he was looking at some of those memories that weren't the most pleasant, there was some gems. There was some happiness he got out of that from looking at it. He did what I like to call sit with them, right? A lot of times there's mental chatter. Or there's a lot of things happening like in the mind that I don't want, Right? But I do what I do is I just sit with it. I just sit with them. I examine them. I look at them. Like I might be doing something like reading or doing something else, and the mind is just distracted about whatever, right? So I say, okay, hold the brakes. Stop. Stop right now. We're stopping right now. I stop and I just sit with those ideas, and sit with those mental images, and sit with them, and just look at them, examine them, breathe and just sit with them. And a lot of times that that really helps. And now after, so Book looked at those memories through a mind melt with a, with a Vulcan. And after he looked at those, he felt better. 
They were painful, but some were joyous, and he just felt better, he said. Right? It was tough to look at him, it's tough to examine, but he felt better afterwards. Right? Now, Book is dealing with a lot of grief. You know, his homeworld was destroyed, his brother, his nephew, you know, died. That is a lot to deal with. A lot of these characters are dealing with a lot of emotional stress. A lot of, lot, just a lot of that. So that's, that's a lot what's been going on this, these few first few episodes. Just handling that, right? Just all the thoughts in the brain happening from dealing with that stress and that the trauma and all that, right? They're tackling this theme head on in Star Trek Discovery. And I was watching the uh, Ready Room. And they're saying they're bound from, from reality right now. This pandemic is causing a lot of stress. I said the last podcast and podcast before. This pandemic is causing much, much stress. You hear about it, you see it everywhere. This difficult, right? And Star Trek Discovery is, is examining that, looking at it. Yes, it's tough. Mental stress is tough. Stress is tough. Like sometimes it feels like it's, it's, like everything going on is too much, right? It just feels like it's too much happening, right? Feel that. And Star Trek is looking right at it. And Star Trek also in the episodes are also dropping little ways of how to maybe mitigate that or handle that, right? Like there's a little, they're peppered. They don't, they don't throw it in your face. I've, I've, you know, I've, I've read enough and studied enough to see like they're dropping little hints like, hey, you feeling this? You might you want to go in this direction. You want to do this, this will help. So once again, Star Trek continues its journey of just spitting knowledge to the to the to the fandom, spitting knowledge to the audiences, right? Throughout Star Trek's history, going way back to the TOS, they're always dropping gems of wisdom throughout for decades. Decades upon decades, wisdom getting dropped in these shows. You can watch stuff of the TOS from back in the day. Watch all three seasons. You will see little tidbits of wisdom drop throughout. It's one of the greatest things about Trek. It's entertaining, it's sci-fi, it's fun. But it's a little wisdom, a little positive wisdom that can help you uplift your life is, is peppered all through all Trek. And um, this goes to an exact same thing. So I'm going long, I'm going to stop right now because I could go on and on about it. But Star Trek Disco Season 4, it's so good. It's syncing up with my life. It's it's so I'm so loving this. It's great. I just talked about a fraction of what's going on in the episode today. There's a lot more happening. So much is just too, it's just so much going on. I could talk it on and on about it. Anyways, that's all I want to talk about this week. Star Trek Disco. Choose to live. And until next time, we'll see. Strength does not come from winning. Struggles develop your strengths. When you go through hardships and decide not to surrender. That is strength. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Until next time, it's Captain Beats. The Captain, the Captain Talks, Talks Flicks. Flicks.